Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. Welcome to episode 8 of our Beacon Live sessions. And it's always a blessed time every Tuesday mm -hmm. to be here and, you know, to, to shine a spotlight on our friends in the music industry and their stories and their songs that um, hold dear to their hearts. And yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to, to tonight. Many firsts for me. For sure, a lot of new songs, <laughs> that, you know, which is which is great, you know. It, it forces me to, to learn some new songs and in, improve my repertoire. That's yeah, great. That's a really good attitude. Really, good way I'm putting it. Yeah. So yeah. Can't believe it's already episode eight. Like every week, every week at the end of the live stream, we always end up feeling really invigorated because after sharing all the stories and you know, it just leaves us with a sense of hope and a sense of peace by the end of it. So I really pray for the same for everybody watching right now if you're on the live stream or if you're watching this after the live stream has ended. Yeah, so let's jump into the comments and let's see who is here yeah. early. I think I saw Daryl. Hey Daryl, thank you for always being the first in the comments section. E good evening to you hey too. Hey Daryl. Yes, and he's saying one week to Christmas, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so crazy. Time so flies. Really flies and I'm sure a lot of people are hoping for 2020 to be over soon mm. and hopefully 2021 starts off great and you know in Singapore we had some news yesterday oh yes that, you know signals that you know the start of phase three will be coming at the end of the year mm. you know I'm not sure how it affects different people uh, for us pretty much gonna be the same I think yeah yeah uh, but yeah hopefully you guys are looking forward to Christmas it's gonna be very different mm -hmm. you know uh, with with the gatherings um, still being, you know, quite small, but I think it's it's good. You know, we definitely don't want a, a resurgence of of the spread. Yeah, of the so virus. please celebrate safely and responsibly this Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I think you know, as Christians, we are very blessed that we can, you know, other other than looking at you know phase three and these sorts of regulations, Christmas is a huge source of hope for a lot of us. And you know, I hope that by the end of this episode, you'll feel the same way. And I want to say hi to, is it Alice Williams? Mm. Um, I think it must be your fan because this is on your YouTube channel. You're an amazing yeah, artist. Probably. I agree. Nice <laughs> to see you, Alice. I think it's definitely your first time on this stream. And, yes. you know, it sounds like you're not based in Singapore, which is wonderful. And that's why we love the live streaming platform. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've had friends from all parts of the world yes. uh, come in. And we'll see who joins us later as well. But, Alice, thank you so much for being here. And, yeah, and, uh, you know, I don't play on these, you know, I don't play my saxophone mm. on these streams all the time, but yeah. tonight I will be. So let's let's see what happens yeah. later. And yeah, and speaking of Christmas, you know, next week we're having a very, very special Christmas edition. Yes. Uh, with two special guests, uh, Daniel Chai and uh, Christine, Christine Sham. Sham. Sorry, yeah. the name <laughs> just, <laughs> just eluded slipped. you. Yeah, so we're going to, since it's the 22nd of December, yes. we're going to do a special Christmas edition and we're going to hear... Uh, both Daniel and Christine's stories. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's nice to have Daniel Chai, you know, here because we, we've always been mistaken for, for each other. Yeah, for each <laughs> other because our surnames are just one alphabet, you know. Replaced. Uh, yeah. So I'm um, looking forward to making music with them. And yeah, likewise. Yeah. And also, if you're enjoying this live stream or you have been for the past few weeks, don't hesitate to share this with a friend or on your social media because we, we just want to get the music and the word out and we hope that, you know, you'll have a blessed time with us this evening uh, or morning if you're watching this across the world. Yeah. And we want to say that all these episodes are possible. Thank you to uh, Eden Resources. Thank you for sponsoring. And Chris Chua is actually going to come on the show as well yeah. um, on the 29th of December. Yeah. So look forward to that. I, I'm looking forward to his testimony as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we will both be sharing our testimonies. Oh, you know, yes. So for the past nine episodes, we're gonna, we've are gonna we been shining the spotlight on 
um, our musician friends. Yes. So we thought, you know, a good way to end the year and really it's been a crazy, crazy year. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll probably need many, many hours <laughs> to to recap how, how amazing this year has been yes. for us. Not, yes. you know, in the traditional terms mm. because like I always mention, like if we want to judge based on, let's say, purely financial terms, you know, obviously it's not been an amazing year but there's just been so many silver linings and so many amazing things that have happened this live stream being one of them i wouldn't have thought that Mm. we will be you know having even the time or the opportunity Mm. to to do a live stream like this but you know so we we're gonna recap you know our year and with our songs as well that we want to share on the Mm -hmm. 29th of december so that's the last two episodes for this year and then uh, following on, we're going to have, uh, you know, like season two, yes. you know, of Beacon Live session and with many uh, different guests from a wide range of industries, um, industries and backgrounds. backgrounds. So yeah. I think do look out for that. I uh, hope you guys will enjoy that as well. Yes. We'll say hi to a few more people before we invite our first guest on. We have Roy saying, hello, guys. Hope everyone is having a nice, cool evening. Yes, cool. it is. It has been raining um, all day today. Yeah. So it's exceptionally cool, which I love. Yeah. And <laughs> we have good. May from Malaysia. Thank you so much for joining us all the way from Malaysia. Thank you. Our friends from across the, the streets. Mm. Daryl says, time passes so yes, fast. Definitely. I agree. And Alice says, I'm Christian too. Alice, let us know where you're watching from. Mm. Yeah, that would be really cool. And... Yeah, I think now might be a good time for us to start off this show with some music. And, you know, this song was pretty impromptu, you know. So I just got uh, a new, very old tenor saxophone today. So I was really excited to play it. So, you know, I decided, okay, I'm going to play one song today. And, you know, when I walked into the studio, I just had this song pop out in my mind. Like, I've never, ever done it before. And so it'll be my first time. It's called People Need the Lord. I'm not sure who the original, you know, singer or, or composer is, but I think it's just something that is so apt, you know, this year and especially leading closer to Christmas. Um, it's a song that I grew up with. And, you know, so I just suddenly felt like doing it and sharing this song with you guys. And yeah, you know, if you're struggling with anything, you just feel like, you know, um, there's no other, you know, answer or option. Hopefully, you know, you guys can take refuge in this song. So I'm going to play this song for you guys called People Need the Lord.
need the Lord. It's the first time I've heard you play this song. Yeah, the first time you played it yeah, ever. It's the first time and I've <laughs> never practiced it before. So, so hopefully oh. you can hear the jazz improvisation there. <laughs> Not by choice. Yeah, <laughs> It's when I forget the notes. But Hilarious. hopefully it still works. So oh, yeah, so just good. a song that I always liked but I don't know why mm. it didn't cross my mind until yeah. like at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. And yeah, you can check it out. I'm sure there's many, many versions out there. Yes. I need to go and check back. I think, yeah. is it Don Moen or, you know, I think some of these, yeah, classic we'll singers find out later have, and Put have it in the, in the comment yeah. section later. And we so. have Alice Singh. You're from Michigan. Oh, yes. Wow, it's uh, early morning for you in, in the US. Thank you for being here. Yes. And it's just so crazy. We're probably like, few thousand miles away mm -hmm. you know but you know you still can be here with us and hopefully the sharing and the music will will you know be a blessing to you all the way in the u.s as well yes and i want to bring up this next comment i don't know what your full name is but liz 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 who <laughs> <laughs> she says or he or she says first time hearing people need a lot with saxophone mm. First yeah. time for me also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have Rico. Hi, Rico. Thank you. She's been a really Hi, uh, wonderful supporter. Thank you so much for being here and for watching, tuning in mm. right now. Uh, and Alice says, so beautiful. During this time, I've been needing him more than anything. I think yeah. that's also a big lesson that we've learned over the past few months or actually just this past year that more than anything after everything else has has been stripped away you really just gotta rely on god yeah and know that everything mm. comes from him nothing is within not what is truly within our control right yeah. So we have Chris. Hey, Chris, hey, Chris is Chris. here. So Chris is the, the wonderful sponsor of this Beacon Live Sessions series. Yeah. And we are looking forward to sharing your testimony and your the songs you want to 
uh, share with everybody on the 29th of December. And you guys finally get to see him in front of the screen. Yes. <laughs> And Rico says, all the way from Tokyo, oh, yes, wow. thank you so much for tuning in. That's It truly astounds me every single time we go live. That You know, even after this live stream ends, we there is no limit to where um, God mm. will use this and where he will take this video to. Like, we really, we probably can't humanly keep track, but yeah, yeah it always blows my mind. Nice seeing you too, Chris. Hui Xuan says, uh, she he gives us two hearts. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for the so love. Much. And hello, Mr. Hing. Hey, Mr. Hing. Hello. Yeah. And mm. I have my friend Chen from hey. China. Hello. Wow. Yeah, cool. Truly Thank international. You. Yeah, tonight. truly international. <laughs> I think it's the first time Chen is here on our one of our Beacon live sessions. So nice to see you. Yes. Awesome. So I think without further ado, I would yeah. love to bring on um, our first guest of tonight. And both guests are really special to me because they are dear friends of mine that I've met at different stages of my life. And I think, you know, if we want to bring on our first guest, this guy is just truly amazing. Like how boldly he uses his voice and every platform that and any influence that he has for God so boldly, so proudly. I love it. And um, I met, I first met, Isaac Ong, our first guest, when we were both in a uh, final one, which is a televised, uh, national televised uh, singing competition. So that was about five years ago, and we re recently reconnected again. And I'm so happy that he's here today. He is the founder of Social Enterprise Colors Global, and he's also um, a singer, an actor, I guess, a host. So just anything, he's just so talented. And I'm so proud to call him a friend. So, Isaac? Yay. Yeah! Oh, yes. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Okay. Thank you for saying yes. Oh, my joy. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. everybody. Oh, I'm out of frame. So, here I am. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you for coming onto the show. It's like... Uh, it's amazing for us to... I'm excited to hear about your story. <laughs> 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 so tell us a bit about how this year has been. I know you just wrapped a really huge conference. Maybe yeah. you want to start off with it? Yeah. So, I mean, last weekend, we just had this thing called the Impossible Conference, right? Mm. So if anything 2020 has kind of been, it's kind of been a bit impossible, mm -hmm. right? Everything that we thought was going to happen, you know, we always said, right? Everyone's like, ah, 2020 vision. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see so clearly, you know, <laughs> so many churches or ministry or movements are so excited. Like, yes. this is the goal. Like, you know, we love all these themes, right? Yes. 2020 vision. Mm -hmm. And I really think that's what the Lord did. You know, I really think the Lord gave us 2020 vision and clarity, mm -hmm. you know, putting outside maybe things that we may uh, overemphasize or idolize mm -hmm. and just to go like what is right at the core and the heart you know and I feel like it's a beautiful invitation from the Lord to come close really personal so I know a lot of people struggle like I can't go to church and all these different places and spaces but I think it was awesome to, for us to be able to go into the space that we are very familiar with the space that often we are intimate with or we have struggles in and this is like this is the place of encounter with God you know, and so we had this impossible conference over the weekend where tons of young people came from across different denominations, different people. Uh, we were supposed to have it at the stadium this year wow. um, with Nick Bujasic coming to speak and share, yes. you know, and um, it couldn't happen because of COVID. But we decided to go online um, and it was awesome because uh, it resulted in the end, many different nations coming, you know, with Japan, Myanmar, Philippines and different people. And it was Amazing. awesome. You know, mm. a lot of times people say that young people, it's all about the hype. You know, ah, yeah, they don't know why lah. They just like love the party and all that. <laughs> but this was not the case. Mm. They were in their rooms. There was no lights or smoke machine or nothing. Mm. But they were worshipping. They were going after God. And I think it beautifully captures what this generation is about. Mm. And if we love something and we're after something, we will do the impossible things for the impossible God. And yeah. so it was, it was wild. And also the reason why I'm a little bit like, I have a bit of a sore throat today because Every time I worship, I, I don't have control. I'm like, yeah. Miss Lou here. <laughs> I just, ah! and I'm like, you need to control. I'm like, I can't, you know? Because like, when something is so beautiful, yes. you know, like if you see a million bucks on the floor, to some people, they, they were like, okay, voice control. Let <laughs> me do this reserve, please. <laughs> you know, I know, you know, and so for me, I just like, no! Yes. But anyway, so a little bit of uh, a salt trip, but I'm really excited and glad to be here uh, with Sarah, who is, 
uh, mm-hmm. around uh, and pace in Daniel, uh, which is incredible because a lot of my story actually involves uh, final one moments, mm-hmm. involves you know it's my life musical, and and it's cool to kind of full circle a little bit uh, to be here. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome, and I I you know the thing that you mentioned about twenty twenty vision, right? Mm. I think it's it's a. Uh, really part of human nature like we feel like we're in control this is going to be our year yeah. we know what's coming yeah. up for us and then yeah. god comes and like just shows everybody i am in control yeah. <laughs> this 2020 Absolutely. vision is going to come into fruition in my way Absolutely. not in your man-made ways Absolutely. and i think that's so beautiful and Absolutely. i think you know um also the young people younger generations always get a lot of flack from mm. um, other parts of society saying like, you know, we're we are frivolous, mm. we spend money on like avocado toast mm-hmm. and things like that. <laughs> but there is a real hunger, I feel, yeah. from young people um, who are asking questions and really thinking about their purpose in life. Absolutely. And I think, you know, it's, it's amazing what you've done with the Impossible Conference. Absolutely. Is it still available for people to um, view if they want to? Yeah. So you can go to YouTube, search Impossible 413 and Impossible 413 because it's Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, and so you have that. We have three sessions, one with Taya from Hillsongs United, yeah. one with Mike Pilavachi, and one with Nick. Uh, amazing, amazing session. And if you go check it out, it's going to be awesome. I think we're really excited as well. We're in conversation with uh, a few other nations to see how mm-hmm. we can bring it to the nation because of the online space. Yes. You could completely craft the online, translate it, and it mm. becomes a Japanese impossible conference. So oh, I amazing. think we're saying, like, how can we reach the nations and allow mm-hmm. people to encounter and 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 find God because people yeah. are looking for truth. It has not changed. Mm-hmm. People are looking for truth, and we've yeah. got a great message of truth. Yeah. Exactly, and one that is unshakable. Absolutely, one that's unchanging. It's Absolutely. not affected by COVID. It's not affected by recession. Mm-mm. All of that doesn't touch it. Yeah. Mm-mm. So I'm. I hope that everybody who's watching this, you know, um, even if you don't believe or don't believe yet, uh, yeah. you be- yeah, you don't believe. E- Yes, <laughs> my brain just stopped <laughs> for a moment. But yes, hopefully this session will be an, a blessing to you. Yeah. And I uh, want to say hi to some people. Hello, Dawn, watching from England, the UK. Oh, hello. Wow, that's amazing. I hope, uh, I don't know what time it is over there, but thank you for joining us yeah. here. And Alexandro Yip says, hello from Taipei. Welcome, welcome. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it's so amazing. So uh, please let us know what your name is, list, list, list for. Impossible <laughs> Conference was such a blessing. Wow. Oh, it's come on. Amazing. So good. So, so good. Um, Sunbeam. Oh, I love that. Full of Sunbeam. Yeah, full of joy. Thank you. I love what that. What a cute doggy. Yeah, the doggy also. <laughs> so cute. And, you know, maybe I want to go back to like um, asking you about your, your background. Yeah. Have you always been a Christian? What has that yeah. journey been like for you? Yeah. So maybe I share a little bit of my story. Mm. So I grew up in church, mm-hmm. uh, Christian, like I'm 32 this year. So all my life in church, you know, I think, you know, for some of us or some of us are listening, we've been, you know, since young in church. And uh, I just kind of went to church because it was like, you know, the right thing to do. Mommy, daddy mm. asked me to go. So I'm a good kid. I go. Um, and so for many, many years, I kind of just knew like, okay, la, these are the things you're supposed to do. You know, you don't laugh during worship. Mm. You know, you sit down and listen. You say grace, you know. Then if you eat halfway, you never say grace. You'd be like, oh, that's how you got. Don't kill me. Right? And we don't really have an understanding. But, but that's our simple childlike oh. faith. And the Lord doesn't belittle it. You know, the Lord mm-hmm. thinks like, you know, just like as if we were kids and with yeah. our fathers, you know. Yeah. Um, and so uh, a whole, whole part of my life, I, I think I was very familiar with the program or the religion, but I really didn't have a relationship with God, mm-hmm. you know. So at some point in my life, I just kind of went like, I need to go figure, you know, mm-hmm. what this whole thing uh, is about, you know. And, and I remember at 17, 18, I kind of left church and I was like, you know, I don't believe this anymore, you know. Mm-hmm. All this is just a program. Mm-hmm. I even told some of my leaders and pastors, you know, you're just getting us to take money. You think I don't, all right. <laughs> um, you know, oh, wow. yeah. And then I, I would just go away. Um, and uh, there were friends and people in my life that just like, hey, I think, uh, you know, you should stick around. We're praying for you. And I'll be angry. I'll be like, don't pray for me. La. You know, all like kind of like brainwash, you know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm okay. And then one, one time uh, a friend said, hey, I think you should go to a mission trip. So mm-hmm. I said, okay. So I said, but I, w- I don't want to do your Jesus things, right? I'm just going to go there because I love people and I'm going to help mm-hmm. people. So like, sure, let's go. And I go there and... Um, I remember, you know, I just went there and these were refugees living in the borders of Burma and Thailand. Yeah. Um, they have no food, they have no, like, no proper basic necessities. Mm-hmm. But yet they were singing and worshipping God, you know. Mm-hmm. And so it hit me really hard. Like, two things, right? Either they are completely delusional, mm-hmm. which would have no direct impact on my life. I'll just walk away and go, like, you guys are crazy. Or second thing is, God is absolutely real, mm-hmm. which 
if that is true, that has a significant impact in my life. Because if God is real, and not just the idea of God, a God that says He loves us so passionately, mm -hmm. He knows the number of hair on our head, yes. He watches us when we sleep, mm -hmm. He loves us, and His Son died on the cross, mm -hmm. He's with us, He has a plan for us, a, 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 a purpose for us. I go, that changes everything, you know? And if He says He's the main character, and I don't acknowledge that, and then I lose the plot of the entire storyline, yeah. which a lot of people are to this day wondering, like, that's, that's the cry of our hearts. What's the story? What's the purpose of my life? Why, why, why? Mm -hmm. And we're trying to figure out, it's, and it's kind of like a bunch of supporting actors without the main character, you will yeah. never fully understand. Mm -hmm. And so I go, well, if, if you making that claim, because nobody else has made that claim. Nobody yeah. else has made that claim that I am the savior of the world. Mm -hmm. I am the meaning. Seek me first. I am the way, the truth, and life. Nothing else. Things may promise happiness. Things may promise joy. Mm -hmm. But there's really no rival or equal yes. because no one dares to make the claim that they are the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. And so if someone makes that claim, I go, well, let me check it out. Because yeah. if it's not real, then I'm out, yes. right? But if it's real, that changes everything. Just as if you tell me Isaac below downstairs has the best chocolate out, I go, <laughs> well, let's check out that claim, yeah. you know? And so I decided, you know, I, I need to find you. I need to meet mm. with you. And so I remember the last night before we left the refugee camp, mm. I was just um, kind of talking to God. I said, God, if you're really there and real, I, I want you to give me a sign. Mm. And the night before, I was reading the story of the prodigal son, mm -hmm. you know, the son coming back to the father. And when he came back to the father, he was he gave a ring, a rope, and sandals. Mm -hmm. And so I said, like, okay, cool. The next day when we were about to leave, you know, this kid uh, came up to me. This kid, I was taking care of this kid, you yeah. know. He didn't know anything. He just came up to me, and, and he really had nothing, but he was wearing a ring. Mm -hmm. And he took out the ring, and he just like, uh, God loves you. And then he runs off. Oh. And I still have that ring to this day, you know. And I just like, I just went like, that is wild, God. That is absolutely wild. You know, and so I came back. I decided to say, like, okay, hey Lord, I want to meet with you. You know, if you are really real and you are really there, then I need to have a personal relationship with you. I don't want to just go through the routine, yeah. you know. And I remember um, I spent about a year, just every single day, I would go to my room. Mm -hmm. I'll lock the door, I'll take out my guitar, and I'll just worship God mm -hmm. every single day. Um, and I didn't feel anything. There was no, like, violent shaking of the window grills. The angels, mm -hmm. they didn't, like, bust out the floor and <laughs> says, here I am, you know. <laughs> there was nothing. It, it felt a lot. Like, you know, and I think a lot of us can identify like you're talking to the wall. Mm -hmm. But I remember a year in, I was at a camp um, and this random missionary came up to me and just says, hey, you know, um, the Lord says to you that uh, uh, he sees, and he doesn't know anything about me. I don't know anything about him. He says, the Lord says to you, he sees you in your room playing guitar every single day and he's there. Oh. And I just, I just died. I just, oh. and he was saying other things, but I just wept. And I was like, because I feel like the greatest beauty is not even like what you have to say about, oh, the Lord wants to do this mm -hmm. and that is to know and be known by the greatest love of all. Yes. That is just everything. Yeah. So I go back, I says, Lord, let's keep going, you know. And then there's a period of my life, I was really busy. I, I couldn't really spend time with God. A lot of times excuse, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I decided, okay, I'll wake up every morning at 5 a.m. and I'll go to Bedok Reservoir. I'll sit under a pull-up bar and I'm just going to pray. And why a pull-up bar is because some people, when they pray, they can pray for hours. You know, I don't know how they mm -hmm. do it. But I'll pray for like 30 seconds. I'll yeah. be like, hey, got eagle, hey, got ant, hey, got <laughs> fish, hey. And, and, you know, and so I would do that. And so, so, so when I pray, I'll pray a little bit and then I'll do pull-ups and I'll mm. pray and I'll do pull-ups. I'll mm -hmm. pray and I'll do pull-ups just to kind of be able to go through, you know. Yeah. You didn't hear the voice of a lot. You know, you're at the fitness station and the fitness station always got the akong ama. Yes, that's right. Hey, chapa, bora, bora, <laughs> <yana kasi." laughs> Right, and that's not the voice of, you know. Um, and then um, I did that for quite a while and I didn't feel anything, mm -hmm. you know. And I remember I was in the U.S. one time, we were doing some work there, and this lady came up to me, and she was a, 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 a older lady, a more lady, mm -hmm. and she just said, hey, I know this is strange, um, but I, I feel like the Lord wants me to tell you that he sees you under the pull-up bar. A pull-up bar. How oddly specific right? for That's a so stranger random. to see. And yeah. I don't post anything, because at that point, there was no Instagram, so mm -hmm. there was nothing, and I just yeah. went, <sighs> <laughs> you know, and... Wow. And I, I won't say I, f I fully arrived. There are days that I have doubts. Mm -hmm. There are days I wake up and like, God, are you really there? But there's something deeper in my heart and my spirit. And so, yeah. well, you've made that claim and I've continued to see you come and taste and see the Lord is good. And I says, okay, Lord, I'll pursue you. Yeah. You know, so that's kind of my journey uh, in my faith and, and how that's kind of kind of been like, yeah. That's amazing to hear. Yeah. And I also love how God uses other members in the whole body of Christ to tell you. Yeah. I see you, I know you, yeah. I know what you've been doing to get closer to me. And I think to be known and seen at such an intimate level surely does something too. I think that's like fundamentally on a human level, 
everybody is looking for that. Yeah. For, for to be known, to be loved for exactly who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So thank you for sharing that, man. Not at yeah. all. Which is the perfect time mm -hmm. for us to sing uh, a song that I absolutely love. And there's a backstory to this song, uh -huh. which you are kind of involved, and so I'll share Great. that in a bit. Awesome. Um, uh, but I want to sing a song that uh, it's my favorite song of all time, uh, and it's a simple song called He Loves Us. I love that. Simple awesome. message. We'll let you take it away and also to invite Kahong to come and play the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Kahong. Hello, Kahong. <laughs> He's playing the guitar. Good man of God. All right. Oh, okay. So if you're listening in, uh, just really take the time to sit, reflect, and think, and let the song speak to you. Oh 
done pretending I want the real thing Who there's nothing better God And I'm done pretending I want the real thing There must be more God And I'm done pretending I want the real thing He loves us like it when it's called He Loves Us. Cool. Yay, good job, Carl. Awesome. So good. He loves us. He and loves I us. was so busy worshipping with you <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to turn my mic on <laughs> to come back in the frame. So, so good. good. Such a simple message. I love the bridge. It says, I'm done pretending I want the real thing. Yeah. You know? And I think... Yeah. I don't know. Is that something that spoke to you about this song that you want to share with us a little bit about? Yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, it's his love that really like captures us and captures us, you know? And uh, that bridge I get from another song, it's I'm Done Pretending, I Want the Real Thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was a whole part of my life, you know, where mm. at this place where we ask, you know, is God real? And I think a lot of us don't finish that question. We just go, oh, yeah, is yeah. God real or not? And then we don't pursue. Mm. But we will pursue many other things. We'll pursue maybe a diploma or a degree and all these things that doesn't promise life and life more abundantly, mm -hmm. but to something that makes a claim like I am the Lord and I am yeah. for you. And I'm not even distant. I know you by name and I'm after to yeah. you we actually make room and time for a, a god that makes that claim mm -hmm. and um and so i was like i'm done pretending i want the real thing and if you're not real i'm out but if you're real then i will not just even give you sunday service how how do i give you sunday service alone how do i just give you my prayers just before i eat like lord please don't make me fat but like if you are real right then you you absolutely have my all and my devotion you know yeah. and um, um my entire life today is like just because he is good and real. You know, some people are like, hey, Isaac, you're incredibly uh, inspirational. And I understand that. But, mm -hmm. you know, if someone sees, and we kind of talk about the million bucks, right? If someone sees $5 million mm -hmm. and they scream and shout and they go, I want it. Mm -hmm. You won't go, wow, you're very inspirational. Huh? You'll be like, nah, that's the appropriate thing to do, right? Yeah. You just got $5 million. Yeah. And a life surrendered to the Lord is not inspirational. It is the appropriate thing to do because mm -hmm. he's just so good. Mm -hmm. So as long as you, anytime you see somebody that gives their life entire to the Lord, don't end in just like it's inspiration. Ask why. Yes. Why would someone give yes. their entire life? And you will realize and learn because there's something that is absolutely worthy. Yeah. yeah. And you know, watching you when we were in the final one together, mm. on, like how you're just so boldly and unapologetically mm. always spoke about, you know, your faith and mm. even on radio to mm. sing, um, uh, just to honour God, mm. made me question at that point when I wasn't a believer. I was mm. like, wow, there's something to this guy. Like what would make somebody so... Um, dedicated and so fearless mm. when it comes to talking about this part of his yeah. life. And it did make me question. And, you know, just it's just amazing to watch you on your journey. Yeah. And like you said, it's just the appropriate response. We could praise 24-7 every day and it still pales in comparison to <laughs> his grace and to Absolutely. what he's given us, his Absolutely. love for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing, yeah, amazing. and exactly at final one, uh, there was th so I sang He Loves Us, mm -hmm. you know, and that was my actual prayer. I said, Lord, right, like I, you know, even if I lose, right, the, the only thing I ask, right, is that you give me an opportunity to sing that song. And why is because when I was 14, um, I, I asked the Lord, I says, Lord, like, what is the purpose? Like, what do you want me to do? Because Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 says that we are God's masterpiece, mm -hmm. that we are called for a good work, that we should walk in them. So at 14, mm -hmm. I said, like, okay, Lord, like, what is the point of my existence? What is it that you want me to do? Mm -hmm. And I remember I saw a vision mm -hmm. of me playing Christian music at the radio station. Wow. 
And so I was like, oh, you know, at 14, you don't know much, right? So you're like, you know what? I'm going to start a Christian radio. No, I'm going to change the world. So I was like, yeah, let's go. And then reality hits, right? Yes. You first need to overcome your O levels, right? Mm-hmm. And so for prelims, I got 42 points. You know, at that point, you're realizing, oh, it's supposed to be lower, not higher, right? I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Got 42 points. I press this lot. I promise, you know, if you help me, right, I will do anything. I'll become a pastor, a nun, whatever. You just do it for me. <laughs> and then the Lord uh, helped me. And of course, I prayed, cried. I got mm-hmm. 13 points points in the end which is a Praise miracle God. and then at 17 I ran away from church right <laughs> right and God is like human and, nature <laughs> and I thought like wow I cheated God you know and sometimes we make all these prayer and requests and then we don't follow through and then you go but I got it anyway so maybe it's God real and I tell you we think that we played God but God knew all along but it's his grace and his mercy and he's a good father he says I got you mm-hmm. I'm not afraid of your truancy because yeah. I'm after your heart and I behold I, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock you know um so I, I kind of was like, oh, okay. So at 14, I got that vision. And along with the vision was like, you know, the Lord's going to use you in the industry to bring hope and love, you know. And I was like, okay, okay, awesome. So from 14 all the way to 26 years old, I think or 27 mm-hmm. before the final one, it was like 13 years nonstop trying to get into the industry, wow. you know. Um, and I think you might know um, the industry is, is not easy. So I'm like trying. I'm going for hundreds of auditions. I've, mm. I've sent hundreds of emails and nonstop getting rejected, you know, nonstop. And every year I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Nah. I really don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. You know, and I, I would get, you know, it's like you're weird looking, you're ugly, you're too dark, you're too yes, short, you're too whatever, you know. Yeah. And it was really difficult. But every year uh, someone would come and say, you know, uh, some random stranger says, hey, the Lord says stay in this. He's calling you to industry. Mm. And I just go, I don't want to do this anymore mm. you know and out of out of the entire 13 to uh, 27 i only did five gigs mm. only did five gigs and it was really really uh, sad and painful and these five gigs were also really nothing much you know but i was like lord i'm just going to be faithful and one of which which later sarah x miracle is going to come yes. and share um we were in a musical together called It's My Life. Yeah. You know, and it's one of the first musicals, uh, or the only, the first musical that I was in. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, Lord, this is it, you know. Yeah. This is my breakout moment. <laughs> yeah. And then we were practicing for about a year in. We are going mm-hmm. through all these like deep sessions, you know. We're crying, we're weeping and all that. And then mm-hmm. about, about many months or to a year of, of rehearsals, and we're going to go and do the show very soon, a couple of months to a year left. Um, I get my love letter from NS, and they're like, hey, it's time for you to serve national service. And we're oh. like, oh. My so heart. myself, my director, we went down to uh, meet the MP. We're like, please, no, please help. And I like, couldn't. Yeah. So after about uh, about six months a year of uh, rehearsals, I had to leave the show. And I was really sad. Wow. You know, and I just went like, God, are you really there? And mm. are you really faithful? Because this whole thing has been a joke. You know, I did other shows where I was just a caliphate. Like, I was a robber. I was a thief. I was like, mm. nothing. Like, everything just was not working out, mm-hmm. you know, well. Um, there was even an opportunity to do a show uh, a movie uh, uh, called Our Boys to Men. At mm. that point in time, we didn't know what that movie was. But when I was offered that role for Our Boys to Men, I was part of the main cast. Right. And I was about to sign the contract, but I just started working in uh, my secondary school, St. Hilda's. Mm. Um, and I was working as like a chaplain CEO over there. Right. And I thought the Lord said, Isaac, I want you to stay in the school because the kids, when you leave and you come back later, the, the sec four kids that you're supposed to minister to will have left. Wow. So I need you there. And I was like, mm. okay, Lord, I'm going to do it. You know, And it was just all these different moments that you're like, is this going anywhere? Mm-hmm. So then 27 came and I was like, okay, Lord, well, what else am I going to do? So the final one appeared, yeah. right? And the final one, if you don't know, it's a music singing competition, you know? Yes. Um, and it's like the localized Void Deck version of like, like X Factor, right? The Void Deck version. Hey, hey. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we, we, I participated. I was like, okay, let's go. Uh, made it all the way to top 16. Yes. Um, and what's really cool at top 16, then eight people got eliminated, mm-hmm. right? Remember? And eight l- people got chosen, you know? Yeah. And so, just story of my life, just losing all the way, right? So, I got... Do you get two? We did choose an eight. I think so. You go so. all cut round. Hello, it's Miss Liu, of course, right? <laughs> Elimination. Story. We'll What's get that? to that next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, anyway, made it to... to, to uh, I went to the lose eight. And so, the winning eight got through... And then the losing eight were like, oh, okay, you know, never mind. And then, of course, like any good reality program, there's always a plot twist, right? So, jang, jang, jang. Actually, we are looking for the top ten. They were like, huh? Oh, how the losing eight have to fight for the final two spots. And we're like, oh, okay, okay. And then they said the most, like one of the worst news ever. Well, but you cannot sing in English. You have to sing in your mother tongue language. And I'm half Chinese and half Indian, Mm -hmm. okay? So, my Chinese is really bad. CLB, I got you great. Okay, and it's just no way. 
Yes. And so I was like, okay, Lord, I'm just going to try. I'm just going to like, you know, not give up. Mm -hmm. So I went to YouTube. I searched good Chinese songs to sing, right? Yeah. And I didn't know any song. The only Chinese song was probably like Zhu Xing Nian, you know, that kind of <laughs> song. And then, so I found this song, Wo Yuan Yi Wei Ni. And I just heard it and I was like, mm -hmm. there's something about this song. Yeah. No idea what this song was yeah. before. So I printed out the lyrics, printed out the honey pinging, and I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I realized what the meaning was. And I was mm -hmm. like, this is clearly not sung unto a person. This is unto yes. God. Then I read the story about the composer, and this was actually sung to God. You know, yeah. I'll forget everything, give up my own name just for you. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. So I did that song. I uh, went on the show. I was like, I'm going to get so eliminated. Mm -hmm. But I sang that song, and I really felt the presence of God in that room. Yes. Um, and it was wild. And I remember after the thing, I kept crying. I don't know if anybody knew. I was crying, crying to the cubicle. Yeah. And they're like, why are you crying? You did good. And I was like, you don't understand. Yeah. Like, I just really feel the presence of mm -hmm. God, you know. And and then long story short, I made it to the top 10, yes. right. But why this story is significant is because then the producers call me. Mm -hmm. And then they say, hey, Isaac, even though you're now in the top 10, you actually, uh, because you were from the Losing Eight, we mm -hmm. actually signed a contract with 987FM. Mm to do uh, a, a, a radio interview about right. what it feels like to lose. And I was wow. like, hey, I've got 13 years worth of experience of losing. <laughs> I'm a great candidate. Amazing. Right? And so then we go and um, and then at the radio station, mm -hmm. I remember I, uh, uh, Joachim Gomez was there and he was yes. like, hey, sorry, we didn't prepare all of you guys. You just need to sing any song that you like. Mm -hmm. And I was like, any song? He's like, yeah, your favorite song. And I'm like, my favorite song? He loves us, you know. Yeah. So I sang He Loves Us on national radio, which yeah. that's not the easiest thing to do to be mm -hmm. able to push and, and sing a Christian yeah. song. But somehow it made it through. And after I sang that song, the Lord reminded me, like, mm -hmm. Isaac, do you remember that vision at 14 years old of you playing Christian music at radio station? It's finished. Wow. And I just go like, Lord, you, you know and you are faithful. Yes. Because the Lord says, I have a plan and I have a purpose. Mm -hmm. And this whole thing is like, oh, wow. So the miracle is that you sang the song. Actually, it's not. The miracle is that the Lord knows me so intimately mm. and that what he says is true. Yes. And the beauty of this entire thing is not singing the song on the radio station. The beautiful thing about the entire thing is I've got friendship and relationship with God. And that is just the best thing ever, you know? And God is faithful through and through and through. Mm -hmm. Um and then why I shared about the Chinese song is I made it all the way top four. Yeah. Um, uh, I was asked to sing this song, uh, Young Girls by Bruno Mars. I don't know whether you know. And I, I was remember. Like, yeah. Vaguely remember. <laughs> and I was like, no, yes. I don't want to do this yeah. song. I really don't want to do this song. And they're like, you know, if you don't do this song, something could happen. I was like, well, let it happen. And then something did happen. I got eliminated, you know. But the Lord was good because the Lord is good because then I was not under any contract or yeah. anything. Uh, many months later, uh, the voice uh, Singapore Malaysia came up. Mm -hmm. It was a Chinese singing competition, yes. and uh, uh, my friend was like, "Hey, you should totally join." And I was like, "Ah, I I don't think I can." But then the Lord reminded me and says, "Like, well, Isaac, you now know one Chinese song." And I was like, mm. "Tui ah, what's it all? Okay yeah, So I joined a Chinese singing competition, only knowing one Chinese song. Mm. It's not like go Tio Heng, no one song only. No, this is a <laughs> Chinese singing uh, competition. Yes. So with that song, War You and E, that wouldn't have happened if I did not lose. Yeah. And, and what that is, is I think there are a lot of things in our lives and in, in the year that has happened that we don't understand. Mm -hmm. And we don't understand because the story hasn't finished. Yes. And a lot of things are left hanging in the air. There are a lot of disappointments we have in our lives with the Lord that is there because we don't let it finish mm -hmm. you know and i think if if the voice thing came up and i was bitter and angry i went ah yeah whatever what the last show so i did the good thing i also got eliminated forget it mm -hmm. it would have just ended you know and so i joined the voice singapore malaysia long story short the lord moved in a powerful way yeah. made it all the way to the finals of that show uh and got continued to do really wild things even going to china and different things and it really opened the way for me to be able to share about god and his love uh, in Singapore, in China with Hebe, in uh, mm. Taiwan. Yeah. And it's just the wildest things ever, you know, and it's just really been amazing, you know. Yeah. I can only imagine, like, the obedience that you had at various points, you mm. know, when, you know, I, I would imagine when a voice, uh, voice the man came out and you realised that, you know, what a role it could have been. But your obedience to stay there yeah. at the... Um, at as St. Hilda's, right? Yeah. To, to just be, be there and faithfully serve God and His people. Uh, that's beautiful. And another amazing thing that um, came to mind was when you said you wouldn't have known that one Chinese song that allowed you to go for the voice yeah. 
and it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't lost. Yeah. And it just is a huge reminder to everybody and to yeah. myself especially that w- don't um it's the story is not finished. No. Let God finish that story for you. And it r- brings to mind another the Chinese uh I don't know if you call it Cheng Yu or what, it's called Sai Wong Shi Ma, which is about this one guy who, you know, he uh he lost his horse, his horse ran away, and the neighbor was like, Oh, that's too bad. Your mm. horse ran away. He said, oh, mm. what do we know? Let's wait and see. Mm. Then after that, I think, you know, the something happened about, you know, the sun um uh, the, the the horse came back and mm. the neighbor said, Oh, it's a good thing that the horse came back. He said, What do we know? Let's mm. wait and see. His son got onto the horse, broke his leg, and his neighbor said, Oh, that's too bad. Your son broke his leg because of the horse. It's a bad thing. He said, What do we know? Let's wait and see. And just, you know, all of the that entire situation just reminds you that nothing is finished until the Come very, on. very end. You Come can on. you can you shouldn't we shouldn't judge um every single thing that happens just on its own. Yeah. Because it's a full it's one chapter in the full, yeah. full book. Absolutely. Yeah. Come so on. that story Come that you on. shared is so Come amazing. On. And I'm not sure if you remember but the when you were doing Wo Yu and Yi, somehow I would I remember you um being in the room because maybe um you were either before or after me with, with Hazru, mm. who was the voice coach yeah. or the performance coach. Yeah. And you were doing that song. And I just, I don't know how I knew this, but Wo Yu and Yi, um, I, I heard, I like watched a variety TV show before and realised that the, the guy, the songwriter who mm. wrote the song, he wrote it as a last ditch attempt at the what he thought was the end of his career, right? Mm. And he just said, Lord, I'm just going to mm. write one last song for you and give everything to you. I'll dedicate this song to you. Mm. And this song became a massive hit. Mm. And I don't know why I knew that, but I, I shared that with you a little bit. Mm. And I didn't know what you would do with it. But wow, when I was in the room when you sang that song, I wasn't a believer at that point, but I felt it. I was yeah. like, how? Yeah. Where is this voice coming out from? From yeah. this guy? It's like yeah. you had wings under you or something. And yeah. The power was just, yeah, it, it's tangible. It was yeah. tangible in that room. So thank you for blessing oh, all of us so with good. your voice, good. man. Uh, every time I think about it, all yeah. I can think about is the, the goodness of our Lord. Yes. And it always brings me tears just because He's, ah, you know, so just great. the best. Yeah. Thank you for sharing yeah. that with us so boldly. And yeah. I want to delve into the comments just a little bit awesome. because we have so many wonderful comments. Um, and Isaac, I have a very special yes. I know, I hear you playing in the <laughs> background yeah, already. Like, I cannot uh, ignore. I was like... <laughs> Actually, you, you don't really have a choice because you're yes. on our show. So I know. I already oh, wow. loaded the lyrics. So oh, wonderful. I'm just asking politely. <laughs> okay, but very you play good. Sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, will, I won't stand in the way of yeah, you and the song. So let's do this. This is called Wo Yuan Yi. We try. Oh, 
什么都愿意，什么都愿意为你。No， 我什么都愿意，什么都愿意为你。Awesome。Thank you. So good. Awesome. Awesome. So good. I remember、oh. watching. I can't remember whether I watched it live when、mm-hmm. we were, you know,、uh, supporting you in person,、mm-hmm. or I watched the recap. But yeah, you know, that was the same feeling I had. You know,、yeah. like I was just thinking. I don't know why. Like, you know, obviously I knew it wasn't your, you know, strongest language,、mm-hmm. and I was just like. You know, whatever is 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 motivating him to have to put like probably tens of hours、yeah. into learning、yeah. that, and、yeah. you know, it's just amazing. And you know, the funny thing is, you know, the things that have led me to be able to know this song by heart. Yeah. You know, it's like me playing in a Chinese, uh, venue for like、mm. three years. You know,、yeah. like. Three four nights a week of Chinese music, and that's how I learned the song.、Wow. You know, and everything has come full yeah, circle. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Know, it's just just quite、absolutely. crazy. You know,、yeah. sometimes. Our God is a master weaver, and that、yeah. always blows my mind. How he doesn't just work in one person's life, but he weaves every single thing in so many people's、yeah. lives for、yeah. something、absolutely. to happen and for paths to cross、yeah. and for his name to be praised. It's Ah,、oh, beautiful. Absolutely, yeah, it's wow, it's wow.、And、just to even be here, like I said, you know, just because、uh, at that point in time I knew you were, you 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 have yet to know the Lord,、mm-hmm. you know, and so then later on to find out, I was like, wow, that is really cool, and wow, you know, so nothing is by coincidence, nothing is by chance, and so you even viewing and hearing these stories, I、yes. pray that it puts a seed in your heart, and it's okay if you don't feel like you're up to it or you're indifferent,、mm-hmm. just watch and see and and wait and see how the Lord will continue to knock at the door of your heart, and every time He knocks, you know, you have a choice and decision to say, Lord, I want to meet with you, I want to encounter you, I want to、mm-hmm. hear you, you know, yeah, yeah exactly, and y- you mentioned about you know ask. One th- being willing to pursue something as well. If we're willing to pursue a diploma, a degree, and things like that, why not the greatest truth in life? It affects every single thing, and、yeah. that was something that was in my heart、yeah. when I was pursuing. And the same way I had pursued God, God was pursuing me all those、yeah. years. Man,、uh, my story is a long, long story,、yeah. which we'll leave for another day. But、yeah. I'm so glad our paths crossed. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. we are even here getting to share this moment together、yeah. to share your story and music、Come、with、on. every single viewer right now. Yeah. Come on, amazing, so amazing, amazing. So good. And I want, I want to ask you a little bit about, you know, since we have our second guest here,、yes. how your paths crossed with her, and how that particular、um, uh, event, that particular musical, impacted you, and what you've done with it this、yeah. whole time. Yeah. You want to say hi? Yeah. Sarah. X Miracle. Let's invite Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Sarah is our next guest for tonight. And you know we are so glad that we get to have a conversation here as friends, three、yeah. friends, and we、yeah. recently got to reconnect again because of a、uh, a musical review that we did together. I know that was hilarious. It's hilarious. Yeah, yes. It like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's Isaac. Oh, I was pacing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So.、Um, Yeah, welcome to the show. Thank you for seeing. Next for up, being Sarah X Miracle. Yes, yes.、Yeah, thank you, Isaac、yeah. Ong, and hello,、yeah. Miss Lou. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. And I know you have you originally prepared um three songs for us, but he threw you a cu- a curveball、yes. to do that song. But I'm glad he did because I feel every single bit of that emotion that、yeah. you sang with on、yeah. th- on that very day、yeah. in that. What was it? Um, escape. <laughs> yes, was escape, it was、right? at escape.、Yes. It was at escape. Guys,、yeah. I'm just、yeah. sitting there in the corner, like feeling goosebumps and wanting to cry. I'm、Aww. just holding back so that I can <laughs> sing. <laughs> Amazing. Cry, I really cannot sing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Really looking forward to that as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's my life was I think a seminal point、um, yeah. in both our lives because in a sense it was one of those like pub. I mean back then no Instagram, no Facebook. It's one、mm-hmm. of those publicized、yeah. platforms. Yeah, and like for us to have been chosen for stories. Yeah, because、right? it was a musical meant to be about our stories. Yeah, they're writing the musical about your lives. And I think it was a pivotal moment for us to feel like, okay, our stories are meant to be shared.、Yeah. You know what I mean? Like、yeah. it's something that's not ours. It、yeah. kind of challenged me even at that、yeah. point 
to share my story on a public platform, even yeah. though it wasn't like the exact story, but they were basing it off quite close right. and key yeah. elements from your mm. story. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was wild. You know, and it just like, to, like, I mean, Sarah, just not even just that musical, like the musical was a start. And it's just been many years of friendship and just really like spurring each other on in our faith. Yeah, and well, I'll meet Isaac previously to this, right? At yeah. least yeah. like, try to meet him like once a year. I was like, hey, Isaac, what are you doing? <laughs> and then we're like, Catch meet up. up and talk. Yeah. Like, um, God told me to go to Japan. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, um, God uh, gave me a new house. Yes, when a new yeah. house today, come yeah. and dinner. Come on. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, it's yeah. like, I feel like he's like my brother I grew up with, you know. Mm, yeah, that's absolutely. so good. And I think it's so important to have, you know, fellow believers in the in the music and the yeah. entertainment circuit for us to lean on each other, yeah. pray for each other. And, you know, I'm sure we all struggle through, you know, sometimes seasons of waiting and yeah. wondering why the rejections are, yeah. are just coming. And I must say that I've never heard his story in full because I've always watched it from far, but mm. I didn't hear a lot of like the backstory of what mm. went on, um, yeah. like how he explained it today. Yeah. And um, I mean, it really encourages me, you know, yeah. about what you said about the story not being yeah. complete yeah. Mm. yeah absolutely yeah so absolutely. if you're joining us for the very first time right now we have Isaac Ong and we have Sarah X Miracle as our guests tonight and um, Isaac has already done two songs and yes. he has two more songs to go mm. would you like to tell us a little bit about the next song and sure. why it need, why you've chosen it um, well the next song is You Are My Champion uh, and You Are My Champion is exactly as I think the story of our lives right there is a law that champions us, right? And when he champions us, everything is put in place. Everything is made right. And by made mm. right, it's not that the situation is turned around, mm. right? We don't find the joy in, in the breakthrough, though there is a, a, a level of gladness, but we find the joy in the Lord. You know, what is comforting about the storm is not just a storm ending, it's the Lord in the storm. And so mm. you're my champion. It's like, Lord, I... have uh, I see and I understand that you are leading me and that you are my shepherd and that you are my God and you champion me, you know? So yeah. appropriate for 2020 as well yes. to everybody who might not be in the entertainment circuit but who can definitely relate to everything that's happened this yeah. year. So would you like to uh, awesome. bring so on Ha Hong for the second song? Yeah. Uh, for the third song, sorry. One, two. Ah, there we go. All right, here we go. You can search for the lyrics if you want. Awesome. I tried so hard to see it. it. Took me so long to believe it. And you choose someone like me to carry your victory. Could never earn it. You give what we don't deserve. It. You take the broken things and raise them to glory. Every battle you've won, I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated in the heavenly place, undefeated with the one who has conquered it all. All right, Sarah, I'm back up. Beautiful. Now I can finally see it. Now I can finally see it. You're teaching me how to receive it. So let all the striving cease. This is my victory. This is my victory. Now I can finally see it. Now I can finally see it. You 
teaching me how to receive it. So let all the strive cease. This is my victory. This is my victory. You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. And every battle you've won, I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence, I am seated in the heavenly place undefeated with the one who has conquered it. You're my champion. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> On vocals. So good, Sarah. So good. And so good, Isaac. So oh good, patience. Such a, such a good song. <sighs> and to have, you know, somebody be your champion, yeah. no matter what, and just to be there for you, I think, again, is something that everybody probably deep down really, really craves yeah. for. And we are so blessed that we get yeah. to have a name to attach to that person who yeah. is our champion, yeah. Jesus Christ, Come on. for us. Come on. Amazing. So good. I would love to so maybe delve a little bit into the comments at this point. Uh, we have Sunbeam saying, thank you, Isaac, for sharing your story. You brought awesome. me closer to God. Yay. So good. Really good. Praise the Lord. Uh, we have uh, Vinny who says, don't know what he's saying, but that's okay. So beautiful. So worshipful. Uh, oh, oh, because this was song. on okay, the... Okay, okay. Yes. So <laughs> Vinny, that song really was talking about... The, the tr title yeah. translates to I am willing, right? Yeah. And it says like, I am willing to forsake my name for you. I'm, yes. I'm willing to... Give up everything. Give up everything for you. Yeah. So... Vinny, we're glad you uh, were here to experience it. Chris Chua says, Hao Ting. Hao Ting. Hao Ting. Hello, Hao Ting. Hey. And we have Daryl saying, Thanks for sharing this, and this affects me very much. Yeah. I'm still young, and what I'm doing is just beginning. Come and on. I have a long journey ahead. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Shirley <laughs> is asking, Can you sing Wu Yi again? <laughs> you could play back this on. Yes, on. Uh, 
loud and clear. So this is on Daniel Chia's YouTube yes. channel right now. You can always go back and replay that particular portion. That's yeah. the beauty of, you know, a live stream on yeah. YouTube. Amazing. Yeah. So we have Kiyoko Chin saying, God is so good. He is, amen. Couldn't agree so more. Chris says, great song. Thank you, thank so you. Good. Amazing. So, you know... We, we are so glad that you've been here sharing yeah. your time and your yeah. music and we know, yeah. you know, after you've read the Impossible Conference, yeah. your voice is not doing great yeah. but honestly, when you were singing, there is like no ounce of that tiredness that I could detect if you hadn't told uh, us. Yeah, yeah. yeah so kind, like, too kind. I think like really the spirit moving through yeah. you too. Amazing, yeah. amazing to hear. Yeah, yeah. so good. Oh, and awesome. I'm so glad that we, uh, we have one more song from yes. you, right? Yes. And would you like to talk a little bit yeah. about that? I love this song. It says, you are worthy of it all. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's really like, you know, entire life devotion, Sarah's story as well as you'll hear. Um, it's really a life laid down. And some people ask why. And that's a great question. I feel like every time you see someone that's super devoted to the Lord, don't just like, ay, ay, you're a self. Ask the question, why are you so self? Yeah, why? Right? Like, shake some sense in us, you know. And if it's shakable, it will be shaken. But if it's unshakable, it cannot be shaken. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says his kingdom cannot be shaken, you know. Yeah. Um, and so this song says you're worthy of it all. You know, in this short time, we share our lives, even yourself, yeah. and I'm sure Daniel and Sarah. And sometimes it's easier to share the highlight moments, yes. you know. But throughout the entire journey, there's so much pain, there's so much death, there's so much anguish. Um, but God continues to not only be champion in the huge, big moments, but in the quiet spaces, whether in your room playing the guitar and you wonder whether anyone is there, whether you're at the pull-up bar, whether you're on the stage, whether you're in Batam helping the poor, yes. whether you're in China singing with a superstar, mm -hmm. it really doesn't matter. He is with you and he is the main character and he's the point of the reason why we live and sing, you know. So exactly. we're just going to end off this time with your worry of it all. Is Daniel going to grace us? So good. If yes. you know this song, you want to sing, place in, you I can. I will be at the side okay. so that I can. I don't crop up the, the, the space on screen, but okay. take it away worthy of it okay, all. What a great awesome. song to end off this, ses this session. Awesome. Oh, once again, huh? Having some technical difficulties. I think it's your. Okay, try again. Nice, awesome. Awesome, and if wherever you're at, uh, if you know this song, we just worship, make room, make space. Um, he's with us all the time, and he's always uh, listening and close to our hearts. Sing 
day and night. We just pray that wherever they may be at in their lives, wherever season it may be, whether it's a good spot or bad spot, Lord, we just ask, oh God, Lord, that Lord, you will open their eyes to help them to see you rightly. And God, I pray for people who feel like they are in a weird part of the story, oh God, weird part in their life. I pray that they will not lose heart or hope, oh God, but Lord, they'll fix our eyes, their eyes on you. And for those who have yet to know you or skeptical about you, Lord, you do not fear their skepticism, oh God, Lord. Then, Lord, I pray that you will continue to knock at the door of their hearts, that they will come to hear you and see you. So I thank you, oh God, for your goodness and mercy. And we pray that the entire session today will not be remembered of our story, oh God, Lord, but a story of the faithful and most loving God ever, who champions us, who loves us, and is absolutely worthy of it all. And therefore, we say to you, oh God, we are absolutely willing, oh God, Lord, to do all that you call us to do. We love you, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, Isaac. Awesome. <laughs> Such an amazing and anointed session. We have so many wonderful comments that you can read later wh when you are at the site. And thank you so much also to Ga Hong wow. for playing. Well done. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited for Yay! the next person story yes. and song and uh, are you okay? Exactly, and I'm so glad that you know I met I met this next guest whom you've already seen if you were here a, a little bit earlier, Sarah X Miracle. I actually first met her when I was a teen, watching her record and really do her thing as um uh when she was recording her first ever EP, and I'm so glad that we got reconnected um uh, recently because of the musical, and you know I can't wait to get to know her better and for all of you to get to hear her story and her beautiful voice. Sarah X Miracle. Mm -hmm. All good. Hello. hello, hello. We are now in the late night session. That's right, late night <laughs> Second session. Second shift. <laughs> after Amazing. the kids are asleep. Yes, after they, they are uh, safely See, Mark in is in time now. Mark also just arrived, my Yay. husband. After he put all the kids to sleep, he's here. Yay. <laughs> awesome. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for having us oh, and no for even arranging for me and Isaac to be in the same show. Because I thought it then would I be get great. to see him now um, a lot of times this year. Yeah. It's like usually I see him like <laughs> once a year. So you know, like, when I messaged him, he was like, wow, I can't run away from Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Actually, I had something to talk to you about, so I will talk to you about it. After Amazing. This. Great. God really pulls us all together and exactly. thankfully the schedule and you're a very worked important out. Instrument, huh? Ah, thank you yeah. so much. Mm. Thank you. you know. So you guys, the Willing Vessels, thank you for having yes, us. Availing this beautiful space. 
yeah. more than And happy. even like Shane at the back, he this guy uh, multitasking. Okay. Very he's like on the YouTube and then he's like adjusting the sound and he's like, you want to hear the mix? I'm yes. Like, How's he doing like five things at one time? Yeah, we are so blessed like, to have Shane behind the console and behind amazing. the camera. A lot of this is powered technologically by Shane. <laughs> amazing. Later, so, right, we turn props. the camera and you see him. Yes, we will turn it around and he's like, why? Hi. <laughs> he's so to, to anybody who is watching right now, if you want to show some love and appreciation, type in the comments like, thank you, Shane, you know, because <laughs> really, we yeah. really couldn't do without him. Yeah, yeah. So good. Awesome. So we have three songs that you've prepared for us this evening. But before we get there and yes, before absolutely. you bless everybody with your beautiful voice, I want to ask you about like your story. Have you always been a Christian? What has that journey been like for you? Okay, so I have a very long story. So mm. I was just thinking while Isaac was sharing, what are the key points to share? Mm. Okay, so I think my story can be shared in a few phases. Mm -hmm. I think the first phase was um, when I was a youth and a teenager because I grew up in a Christian family. Mm. Um, but I, I, was the f I had first child syndrome, which is the mm. typical like, oh yeah, why I have to fight for everything because my parents don't let me... Are you oldest child? No. <laughs> Neither of us, yeah. We're both a younger, You're younger all don't child. Know. Yeah. But my husband was also a first child, huh? so he mm. understand. Huh? Okay, so anyway, so um, cut the long story short, you know, I was actually in a relationship with my then boyfriend um, without my parents' knowledge. Mm -hmm. And they were like, no boyfriend till married, you know, that kind of no thing. Boyfriend. But honestly, I, can, I think, I mean, honestly, being the first child, they also don't really know how to handle, la, right? Hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, be, and, and we were in a relationship that because it was in the dark, we struggled with it a lot because we mm. were both in Christian families mm. and we were like constantly like breaking up. It was like, okay, it's not right. Break up. Ah, they get back together. Mm. Ah, break up. And it was just, it was just messy. And uh, I still remember that at my A-level year, I was going to like say, okay, let's like finally break up because I think my parents say uni can get boyfriend. So we break up first, can or not? Like this kind of stupid logic <laughs> also have. And then we broke up and then after that, um, we, I was actually going to sit for my A-levels just in a couple of months' time. Mm -hmm. And then we found out that I was pregnant. And I'm like, wow. wait, how does this happen? We are so done. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, when you're young and a youth, and I have to tell the youth if you are watching, or even if you're not a youth, you know, the things that you do still have consequences, right? I mm -hmm. mean, even if you come back to God, that doesn't mean that the earlier things you did don't have a consequence. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that God cannot work out things for your good. Exactly. But that is still a consequence. Yes. So young people, please, uh, um, <laughs> you know, and 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 so you know, I was very fortunate, and this uh, story has been documented by the Heartbeat Project. So mm. if you would like to watch the full story and the reenactment and the dramatization, please look for Heartbeat Project, Mark yes. and Sarah. Mm -hmm. And um, my friend was with me when I was doing the pregnancy test, mm. and I didn't know what to think. I was looking at this thing. Mm. I'm like eighteen, not even eighteen yet, almost uh, eighteen, yeah. going to take my A levels, mm. and my friend next to me is like course you have to keep the baby you're gonna be a great mom and i'm like looking at her like really oh, thank God. and that was just like in a toilet and we were just looking at the thing and it's almost like then then you know like somehow god spoke life through that friend you know to say that this is a life this is important and this is the right thing to do you know mm. this is how you know i mean now i look back i can tell the story and i can re i realized that that was god way god's way of pulling me out from darkness into mm. light and for, for, for quite a few years, my testimony has been about that, from darkness into light. Because God, to God, darkness is like light. You know, He sees everything. And, and, and in pulling us out from darkness into light, mm -hmm. then we were able to, you know, make right, um, be able to decide to get married um, and raise Inez, our first daughter, um, you know, in a family that really loved her. And actually, her, all her grandparents doted on her. She was Aww. such like a rallying point for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I would say that we've been so blessed because we had that support and our parents... Um, they, they, they really gave us everything that we needed to succeed. You know, like, they, they hired a second helper mm -hmm. just so that, you know, I could still study at night and, like, do stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and Mark, I think, to his credit, I mean, not many boys would have done what he did. Mm -hmm. You know, he responsibly said, okay, you want to keep the baby? Then okay lah. I go with you and okay lah, fine. Um, so I think that's, that's one chapter of our lives mm -hmm. and we've told that story quite a few times on a few platforms now. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one chapter. Um, another chapter when it comes to music, I mean, amidst all this that was happening yes. is that, I mean, I've always known that I've been called to music in some way. Mm -hmm. um, pivotal point was when I was about 14 going on 15, similar age to Isaac. And I won a singing competition in school. And I felt like, hey, maybe I could do this, you know, like, not sure how, but maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and I had won like a solo competition as well as the group competition. And I think I'm quite competitive that way. So I was like, oh my gosh, I won both? Yeah. Like, what? 
And and I think that that kind of set me on a path to pursue uh, music as a soloist, and that has its own like story and thread. And I used to think like, okay, music is like something that you should use to express yourself, right? And that's where I I did my first jazz EP in all ten ten years ago. Yeah. So this marks the tenth year of my 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 work in music, like you know, in releasing songs and things like that. But that first one was really very much like, okay, let me try and express myself. Yeah. And then it was like a jazz EP thing. Then following that, I think God kind of like shook me up because I actually landed a media job in, in radio. And at that time, I was like, I want to just be closer to entertainment, yeah. right? But I was actually in a position where I realized I was in the news department and not entertainment. Mm. It was a huge disappointment to realize that mm. only when I started the job that I'm not actually with like the same department, the same management as 97 and Gold and, mm. and Class. I'm yeah. in the news department. Right. So anyway, I was there for a year. I mean, and that had had its purposes as well. Mm. You know, God is good that way. Um, but I, 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 I left feeling very disappointed. And then right. at the same time, I had a, a chance meeting. Actually through radio to got to meet Corinne May. Actually, Corinne May wrote the song for the musical that, that I was... Oh. My solo song for that musical that we're talking about. Wow. So she kind of knew my story, but she didn't know me. Yeah. So when it, because of radio, I had to capture a sound bite from her for like mm. some Mother's Day campaign. Mm. And so because I met her, then she said like, "You were the girl for that thing, right? Like, can I just explain your story a bit? You know, because like, so actually, what happened? Uh? Right. <laughs> you know. So I got to talk to her a little bit, and then it was through her that I met her husband Kevin, who then became instrumental in producing. Um, my full length album Brand New which was in O12 mm. so then in O12 which is the second chapter of story that we usually tell people um, because I was also involved in Corinne, in Corinne's concerts when she was yeah. launching her fifth album I was singing backing vocals for her and because her producer my producer was her husband right so yeah. everyone was like okay we finish our concerts and then we will finish the album mm. like my album mm. so I'm like okay fine so we're all on the same thing finish the concerts and the week that we're supposed to start recording yeah. I got into this crazy car accident where oh. I should have died. Okay, so I'm on the way to a meeting in my car. Mm. I lose control because I'm uh, okay. I was trying to shift, like turn this way, like you know, you're trying to like go this way. Mm. Then I saw a car coming a bit too late. Then I swerved back. And you know when you swerve back, okay, then the car just spun out. Oh. I couldn't control the car. Then so I overcompensated to go back this way. Right. And then I crossed to the other side of the road oh, on yeah. the opposite. And you know when that happens, literally, I'm just like. God, I'm gonna die. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, God help me, I'm gonna die. I don't it just happens so fast. Yeah. I just hear a bang and I'm out. And the next thing I find myself, I'm on the the other side pedestrian. So oh. like I was in mm. this one, opposite traffic. I'm on the other side somehow, like lying face down. Oh. Thankfully my face is on the grass. Mm. So anyway, there were two ambulances that were called. There was a huge mm. lorry that actually hit my car. Oh. oh, I forgot to mention yeah, huge lorry coming towards me. That's why I thought I was gonna die. Yeah. Huge lorry flipped over. My car is like smashed, and mm. I somehow get projected out, but mm. still survive. A and E doctors are like doing all these scans, right? Because yeah. they're checking if you mm. broke anything. Mm. My neck is in a brace, and doctors come around and they're like, they have these like medical student doctors with them, mm. and they're like. Okay, this case, uh, the one with the lorry, because the lorry and had a pillow, also, then they flipped my right, all go hospital. Oh yeah, wow. this is the same case. And then, um, but she's like that. Uh, she doesn't have any fractures or broken bones or blood clots. So it's a quite a miracle because most, uh, most people have a high rate, high rate of M&M. No, they were talking like medical terms. Right. And they were just like, I'm a case study sitting there. I'm just like oh in the wow. ER. I'm like, guys, what's happening? <laughs> then I asked the doctor nearest to me, yeah. the student doctor or the, yeah, the junior. And I'm like, mm -mm. what's M&M, guys? Yeah. Not sweets, right? And then she's like, morbidity or mortality it means either you die wow. or you're permanently paralyzed. Wow. I say, why does that happen? They say, well, because most people who get projected out of their vehicles, mm. they get hit by other cars or mm. they break their neck mm. on impact. Yes. So the fact that I didn't break my neck, I don't even have a scar on my face. I mean, you can't see. I had a gum injury. And I mm. have a laceration on my leg. But it was mm. all like surface. Yeah. So they're all looking at me like, how come you don't even have... Do you know like people wow. who faint? Mm -hmm. They often get like very like intense bruises. And that. So yeah. can you imagine the impact? I didn't even have and yet. Yeah. I didn't even have anything that serious. So it's just impossible. <laughs> yeah. Unless like there was divine intervention. Mm -hmm. You know, like there was definitely an angel that kind of swooshed me out and landed me in the most gentle way. Then yeah, on the forgot, grass. Somewhere. Forgot my cheek la, and then my cheek gonna <laughs> <laughs> maybe God say, Hey, why are you the cheek? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean the rest of me is preserved, yeah. right? Amazing. So, so we still, at that time, we actually had booked the Esplanade studio for the recital studio for the, mm. for the album launch and yeah. haven't recorded. Mm. So but what happened was, obviously I was in no state to record, but what happened was that out of that time of reflection, I actually wrote mm. some new songs, mm -hmm. um, one of which was called Love Shade Void, which then went on to win an award for like um, like a best contemporary gospel thing. It was very surprising in the right. US. So, so it was very interesting because some of the things that came out only after the accident that pointed me 
which already were in the direction that I was moving towards, which God was saying, mm. okay, you know, if you want to continue to do music, you have to find ways to point people to me. Yeah. So that was like second chapter. So we come to this final chapter where we are right now, yeah. like in music. Mm-hmm. And the interesting thing is that um, after after that, actually I had a period of time, also because of the song War Yu and Yi, which is not a coincidence, mm-hmm. um, um, actually being sent to represent Singapore for Voice China Season 2, which is the China version, mm. did not get through. F- Asked God, why you send me so waste time? Mm. Um, and, and coming back and God saying that, I just want to open your eyes to China. Right. So that started me going up to Taiwan, up and down for a couple of years on mm. o- O14 period. Yeah. And then I've also been traveling up to China just to understand more about China, and what what is it God is really doing there? Yeah. So to present day, I cannot say that I really understand mm. because it's not like I've made a massive breakthrough there. Mm. But I definitely feel a lot more comfortable singing Chinese now. And you know, having like just established like made friends. And mm. I mean I don't know what the plan is, but certainly like I just have to keep moving and perhaps God will open what whatever he wants to open. Because yeah. anyway, none of us can travel, so we're all here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so that's one of the w- one of the side points. But I think it's not a side point. I think it is important, but it's a very interesting opening about mm-hmm. the Chinese. Um, me singing Chinese because I also like a bit like I don't sing lah. Don't sing Chinese when I'm young. I'm like I also only know what Yuan Yi one song. I also <laughs> went competition one song. Uh, yeah, funny, right? So, like now the present situation and my name Sarah X Miracle yeah. is I would say like another chapter of where mm-hmm. I'm in music right now. Um, and leads to my most present testimony. Yeah. Um, so what happened is that uh, Mark and I were actually involved in one of his businesses where he mm. when he when he was partnered with somebody. Mm. And so last year we actually recently exited. Mm. And I thought, okay, look, now I can focus on music again because mm. I was doing very intense work there as a brand strategist. But then um, we were then we but then we found out that we had a miracle like pregnancy. Oh. And then we're like, oh, wow, okay, so I'm going to be due February 2020. Mm. And so I thought that February and 2020 in general was going to be a baby year. So basically, mm. I had no plans. I had no expectations. Yeah. I was like, 2020 is going to be a baby year. Mm. Don't plan anything. Mm. Don't, don't think about the music thing, yeah. you know, because you're going to be looking after a baby. Mm-hmm. And then unexpectedly, in November last year, we were also on the way to launch like a new business called mm-hmm. Taijo, mm. which sells phone slings. And 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 we found that the baby had stopped moving, and oh. and when and when we found that out, it was actually it was so funny. Um, it was th- well, th- it was actually one of the nights that I actually went down to see what Isaac was doing because he had invited a dancer to come and share a testimony. Mm. And so that night I left early because the baby had to move for more than twenty four hours, and my parents and Mark were like, "If you feel something's wrong, you better go and like." check it out mm-hmm. so the <laughs> the ops guy was like go to emergency yeah. straight away yeah. and g- admit to the labor ward mm. and check whether there's a heartbeat mm. so I actually wanted to stay to listen to the dancer story but I was like okay I better listen and go to the hospital now yeah. so I left Isaac's event <laughs> and <laughs> went to the hospital yeah. and at the hospital um, basically actually it's very funny because on Monday there was just a checkup mm-hmm. and, and they didn't do an ultrasound they had just like you know this like whooshy thing where they hear the heartbeat it's like mm-hmm. this sonogram thing mm-hmm. okay not parents okay <laughs> not yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> we bless them <laughs> okay um and 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 so because when the nurse it's so funny they just send the nurse they send the junior consultant they send the senior consultant mm. and then finally they had to wait for our main doctor to come but actually i already knew lah because yesterday it was the same like object yeah. and if the nurse can't find it i'm like you know, mm. um, and so that was quite devastating for us to go through. I think that was something that we never, you know, you never expect that something bad happens mm-hmm. to you. Mm-hmm. And when I was a youth, I thought like, ah, yeah, I'm invincible. Nothing bad can happen to me. Mm-hmm. And then, but then the reverse is like, okay, but God, you bless us with a baby. Why would something bad like that happen? Yeah. Like, why would like why would a perfectly like healthy baby stop moving? Mm. Um, and so we had to induce labor, which is probably oh. the most like painful excruciating thing that we had to mm. go through as a couple so we had to send the kids to my mom's check in the hospital um waited like uh, i think it was almost 14 or 15 hours oh. and it's it's, it's kind of like you're waiting i mean they keep giving you like medicine medication to co- to have the contractions come mm. and and it was just the most painful physical thing that mm. i guess is like giving birth to a stillborn baby mm. and knowing that it's like you're going through all the pain but there's no reward yeah. um I think Mark was very strong. Um, he, he, I mean, physically, 
he couldn't like bear what I had to bear, but he was just like with me all the way. Mm-hmm. Um, after after all that passed, I mean, we had a small ceremony and all that. Um, you know, we took time to go through it, and then we were very very public with what was happening. Mm-hmm. That was my way of coping. Yeah. We just like sang. We had to like just sing through it, like worship through it, like mm. just keep our attention on God and 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 knowing that like He had a better plan. And the interesting thing is that we we had named this baby Nadia, and Nadia actually means hope. Wow. And and so when 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 t- when 2020 came round, and of course because that was and that was mid November, yeah. 20 came round. I'm just like, okay, God, what's happening this year? Mm. I have no plans because the plan was the baby. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Mm. I was actually quite lost at the beginning of this year. I was like, I have no baby. <laughs> Um, but we moved into a new house because of the baby. Mm-hmm. So HDB allowed us to rent the new space and rent our old place because mm-hmm. there was no space for the baby. Right. So we new space, and 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 and, and then COVID happened, right? Mm. And then the most funny thing happened during COVID was that all these things started to open up. Like, you know, um, someone asked me, "Why don't you release something? There's a timeline for this. There's a window for this." Yeah. Um, even like the musical that happened, mm. and us um, getting some other like client work in our in our work, mm. and so then, and oh, and also the business that we were launching this yeah. this 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 phone thing business. Wonderful. So that was still launched. We pushed through, and I was still in the binder. I remember, mm. <laughs> and that was launched Black Friday last year. And this, so it's a year old now, wow. and and that has definitely grown and and seen favor from the Lord. And and that was not expected because it was just supposed to be a side thing or like oh just for fun. Mm. And and I mean and through it all, even though we remember like the whole incident going through that with such like pain and it's like wow. But you know, so many people then after we started sharing were yeah. able to relate to us and they mm. said, you know, we also lost a baby or mm. we went through a miscarriage even at like ten weeks wow. and we couldn't tell anybody because we didn't even tell them that we were mm. pregnant. You know, and oh. and people go through so much of this pregnancy loss yeah. and nobody knows. Yeah. Like you know, you talk about being known, but you know, I, I think I think there must be people here today in whoever's watching or you mm-hmm. whether live or not. I think whatever loss that you've gone through, whether it's a baby that was meant to be born or someone you love so dearly, like that loss is so irreplaceable, but the Lord sees it, you know, and if you feel like nobody knows, like he knows. You know, and that's why I'm here today to tell you that he knows and he he sees that pain, he knows yeah. what you're going through. But I'm also here to tell you that there is a hope. Because one year ago, I was just like, what am I going to do with my life now? Mm-hmm. And um, and yet, I mean, this year, he's he's allowed me to release a couple of new tracks and yeah. rebrand as Sarah X Miracle. Yeah. Um, one of the things that, um, of, of why we changed my name. So I used to be called Sarah Ching Dewin. Mm-hmm. Um was 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 that was that miracle was 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 something that I felt was a very key point in my testimony that mm-hmm. happens ag- again and again, mm-hmm. like again and again the Lord shows you know His signs and wonders and miracles to me, yeah. and I think it's an encouragement to me to keep going on, mm-hmm. because, you know, life is so tough, mm-hmm. <laughs> and there are these difficult things that keep happening, yeah. um, but the Lord keeps saying like no, there are new things, and and I will keep, you know, I'll keep performing my miracles, my mm-hmm. signs and my wonders, so you know. Yeah. These are signposts mm. for the journey. Yeah. So that's an amazing <laughs> way. To yeah. So yeah. so yeah, I want to encourage everybody because I mean, where where I have ended up this year at the end of the year, mm. um, having done the musical with you guys, yeah. um, you know, having released some mu- new new music. I mean, not massively successful, but just a start. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and 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 even like um, growing Taito as a brand, I think these are all miracles. They're, they're just miracles. Yeah, yeah, I think it must be just so <laughs> immensely painful to have gone through that pregnancy loss and still be able to worship through it, to praise God even when the most unimaginable thing has happened to you. And we just wanna, you know, just encourage you and say that you have been so obedient and such a an amazing testimony for everybody to know that God is with them is there with you not just in the good times he knows you when you hurt he knows he knows you when you are crying when you are asking him why yeah, yeah absolutely. he's just there absolutely. through it all yeah so thank you absolutely. for being so brave and I'm pretty I'm definitely sure that this will benefit <laughs> at least one person out there who's thinking why has God 
done this to yeah. me? Why am I yeah. the person who has to go through this yeah. pain? I know I, that you're I, not I, alone. I wrote, I wrote something about mm-hmm. this and it's on the Salt and Light blog if, if mm. you're familiar with the Salt and Light mm-hmm. blog and it was about, walk, it's called Walking Through Fire mm. and so for anyone who's going through like something like that, um, you know, you can read what I wrote and part of it, part of one of the points I wrote was that um, I think we are actually chosen to go through hardship, and yes. it's 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 a it's a ridiculous thing to think about. But yeah. you know, the the Lord actually gives us trials so that He can grow us, and 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 it's and it's not easy to go through them. But when He does grow through us, then then we can empathize, right? He yeah. gives us the comfort so we exactly. can comfort, right? He blesses us so we can bless, and yes. and whatever I have been able to walk through, whatever I have been able to experience, I I feel now that I really empathize with people. Yeah. Even just my neighbor the other day, literally, I'm walking with her because we we sent our sons to the same gym class, mm-hmm. and then I was explaining to her about my main situation, and I said, yeah, mm-hmm. because I went through a pregnancy loss, just as a by thing, like a by the way, yeah, because yeah. I was actually pregnant, that's why I needed a new help, da da da, yeah. and then she stopped me. She said, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Then, I, then 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 I said, oh, it's okay. Then she said. I just went through that last week and I nearly yeah, I was like yeah, oh my gosh yes. why do you mean you just went through this last week mm. why are you here yeah. <laughs> you know and, 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 and yeah and she was at about the 10 or 11 week mark and and I feel that God just gave me another tool mm. you know to, to be able to, to, to witness to be able to empathize to yeah. understand um, and just be there you know and say like yeah. I've gone through that you know and, 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 and God sees that you know yeah. so amazing amazing <laughs> thank you for sharing that and I, uh, you have three songs prepared for yeah, us. Does he not cry? Would Can you I like sing it? <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm sure you will still be able to bless a lot of people with your beautiful, beautiful voice. Would you like to let us know? Yeah. What so, the so song maybe is? what we can do first is a mm. slow Chinese ballad mm-hmm. um, called "Ai de En Tian." Yes. And "Ai de En Tian" is now no longer available on public platforms, but um, mm-hmm. maybe I'll re-release it mm-hmm. sometime next We're year. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. And a, a props to Dan because, you know, he literally just learned this today. Amazing. And he's so pro that, like, he just reads the score and gets the hits. Mm. All right. Right, so right take Dan. Take it away. Ai de en dian. Ai de en dian. So this song was originally written, um, I, you know, en dian is actually, it means grace. And, and, it, and, and it's actually talking about how we, can't, we, we basically walk in, in the grace of God's love. So... If you don't understand Chinese lyrics, um, I will have to type it out for you. <laughs> you can <laughs> DM me. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Count, huh? One, two, three, four. Okay, let's start again. False start. One, two, three, four.
再多的再见，也取代不了你留下的甜。毛衣是体贴，被爱的感觉，把你的印象烙印在我的眼眸。我刚强在你。熟悉的味道，不曾散去。Yeah, 你值得爱，是晨光的温柔。你值得爱，是诗歌的节奏。Okay. Just so amazing. <laughs> Not just your voice, but the writing and the lyrics. My goodness. You understand Chinese? <laughs> I do. It talks about you know that love being there to fill the uh, inadequacies the need,、yeah. in your life. Yeah, yeah.、Oh. Your Chinese quite good, huh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. 不错不错，一点点。不错不错。我们以后可以，你可以主持一个中文。我我们可以尝试。天。I think I'm on the opposite spectrum. No idea what you're saying. <laughs> just had to just. Sometimes, sometimes it's good that I never heard the song before. You <laughs> just know? follow just the go, musical. Just go with yes, you, you true know, too. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, musically, it's a great song. If you understand the lyrics, it's another layer of understanding. You、yeah. know, it's beautiful. Thank, thank you, thank so you much for, for blessing us. all of us with that song. 爱的恩典爱的恩典对 Beautiful. And let me delve into the comments a little bit because、no、we have some really nice. Is it okay if I get some more as well? Of course. Please go ahead while I read the comments on your behalf. The, we have、um, Chris Chua saying, "Wow, what a testimony." Sarah, and thank you for the candid sharing. Thank you, Chris, have, for being with us. Yes, and we have Sunbeam sharing his or her love hugs, lots of virtual hugs, and we have Peter Chan who said, "Thank you, Sarah, for your、uh, for your sharing so openly about your past and present stories. Praise the Lord." Indeed, Amen. Indeed. Timothy, hey Tim says you're doing great, Jane.、Okay. Proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Tim is a friend of ours. Thank you so much for popping by this、um, uh, live stream. And of course, don't forget to share this live stream because you really never know who this might touch and who might find, you know, the testimonies and as well as the music relevant and relatable to their life. So go ahead, do that.、Uh, we have Daryl saying, "Lovely, Lovely wonderful." Shirley says, "Wow, I think the wash hands is the <laughs> clapping emoji." <laughs> I don't know whether it was、wash、ever. Yeah, was it supposed to be、so、a wash、funny. hands emoji? 
Who knows? <laughs> we learn something new every day. Daryl loves the song. Thank you for singing oh, it for Darryl us. Oh, Daryl gives us so many hearts. Yes, so cute. thank you. Uh, Lily oh, that's my mom. Oh, hi. Oh, my mom. Yeah. This is lovely, Sarah. Love you lots. Oh, love you too, mommy. Oh, beautiful. Reminded of God's grace in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Lots of wonderful things. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing. Mr. Hing also, oh. you know, loving it. Yeah. And honestly, at the side, I was just like, Hot eyes emoji. <laughs> Hot eyes emoji. <laughs> the same Hot way I was emoji. all those years ago when I was watching you record. I was like, wow. I didn't when I grow you were up, there. I want to be a recording no, 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 no. artist. You, you definitely <laughs> are. You're more than that now. <laughs> I'm so glad now we're friends. Now you're studio producer also. Wow, we, same, same. I, I get inspired by you know, people like you. Really, I mean, it's amazing not just because you have continued to use your voice to sing, to write music, but you know, you're a brand strategist. You have your own um, product that's out and everything. It's just amazing to see and above that I respect you for being willing to share about the not so great parts because we are also used to sharing about the highlights right especially on social media and things like that when people interview you talk about the good things but to really be able to turn that pain that you've experienced in your life and to still honour God and praise God for that that is like next level for me so I respect you so much and to the both of you for showing us what a couple is like to go through something like that together and still come out of it praising God. It's so yeah. good. We should, so, so we should talk about the next song. So, yes, you know, tell I'm us more. I'm talking about Mark, right? Mm. I mean, and, and you know, he's very, very much part of my journey. And, <laughs> you know, because we, we got married so early that he kind of mm. like, basically we all grew up into adults together and right. stuff. And, and this song, um, Want You To Know, which was my latest single, mm-hmm. was actually like kind of co-written with Mark because Ooh. I was like oh my gosh Mark I want to write this song about like love that's committed but I don't know what to say so we sat there on the sofa I'm like okay Mark yeah. what would you say to me then he literally <laughs> just like he literally just like spouted stuff and then I just took it and then I, I pretty it up that's oh, all amazing co-writer <laughs> he wants you to talk he wants to talk we can arrange for that to happen go, go, go. so we can hear Mark's side of the story of how this song really yeah, happened yeah yeah how the song really happened yeah hey, okay Mark, you Mark would you want to chime in no 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 you have to come in terrible put me in no. the spot <laughs> Just come okay, in. Okay, off camera for now. Maybe after later, this song, later. we can invite Mark on screen to share his side of the story. <laughs> yeah, so, he, so I mean, so so I feel like this song, you know, is meant to champion what it means to stay mm. committed to each other. Mm. We were also inspired by couples who were separated by distance because of COVID. Yeah. Like, we literally had friends close to us, like, husband in China, the wife is here, and then got kids, and then they are separated for six months. Yeah. And, and we felt like, you know, because we went through a long distance relationship for a year when he went to do his master's mm-hmm. and, and we actually understood that, you know, and, and we wanted to express that that, that, that that commitment of what it takes to go through the ups and downs of life together. And then today, Daniel made it into an upbeat, jazzy version. So first time ever singing Want You To Know Live yeah. with like jazz piano. So Yay, I'm excited. really happy that he, he managed to, to like figure a way to make it sound cool. So Amazing. I can't wait to hear it. And I can't wait for everybody to hear it as well. This <laughs> is Want You To Know. Jazz version. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me put this back and then we will stand here. Okay. One, a two. Feelings may fade, love don't die Tears I can touch on FaceTime Distance is freedom, but freedom comes on with a price Lovers on buses and rides What I would give for a fight Just to make up with you, making it up in my mind Baby, I want you to know Call to say I'm coming home Break them down, baby, just flow with me If the world was you and me Then this world is all I need And I want, want you to know I want you to know ah. I sing away to grind you're the face i want to find now i'm committed ain't gonna quit it loving you all through the night hold me close it's dangerous no one else can handle us we're climbing mountains nothing is certain crossing the finishing line baby i want you to know call to say i'm coming home break them down baby just 
You to know, so good. Want you to know. First time ever jazz version, huh? Yeah. Okay. Exclusive for everybody here watching this for the first <gasps> time. Studio version on Spotify or yeah. Apple Music. Why a uh, W Y T K? That's yeah. right. A latest single, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for yeah. for playing that. That was big props to Daniel Chia yeah. on keys. Amazing. And, and and saxophone. No, just now we were like, hey, let's have him like play two instruments at once. Then he can do a saxophone solo over our That's jazz right. song. We're like, wait, you only have two hands. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> he only has two hands. Oh, like ten. You need more hands. <laughs> yeah, or a looper. <laughs> Next time we'll make that work. And uh, I don't know if we want to put Mark on the spot right now. No, 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 Mark, <laughs> just come here. He's not on the spot. Oh, he's very spontaneous, very adaptable. <laughs> That's his number one strength finder, right? <laughs> Amazing. Hey, come quick. Hey, you we'll come let on. him prep. The mic, the mic is you, right you there. Yeah, the you mic is there. If you don't want to be on screen, you, you can you can no, no, just you come speak. inside and take the mic. Yeah. We'll take the mic with you. Amazing. Welcome, take, take Mark. Who is Sarah's husband? Mark X Miracle. Mark X, Mr. X Miracle. Okay, while, 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 while waiting for him, I'll explain my name, right? So yes. Miracle is one of it. Then people are like, hey, what's the X for? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so actually it was very simple. I just found out that Sarah Miracle on Instagram was taken. So I was like, oh no, I have to find a way to make <laughs> it different. No, no, no. So I just, I don't know why, I just put an X. Oh it was God. just yes. like not thinking. Mark is here, yeah. No, then I realised that that Sarah XM is actually my Chinese name. Xue Mei. Oh. And Xue Mei actually means like cherry, this is a plum blossom flower that only mm. um, blooms in the winter. Winter, yes. And I was like, hey, she's kind of like a miracle, eh? Hey? It is. So, it's so like befitting. Quite, yeah. Amazing, so and that's also the the exact same flower that's behind Xue Hua Piao Piao. <laughs> so <laughs> Xue Mei, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. The same flower. which is beautiful. Behind that TikTok trend, yeah. Actually, behind it, right, the lyrics are actually super meaningful for that song because it talks about you know the hardship of um, yeah. a flower blooming only in winter under the harshest harshest conditions, and I couldn't think of a more appropriate name yeah, for my you. My mom is prophetic. That's yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Exactly. She, she gave me this Chinese name. Right. Right. Mom. Amazing. Ma? Amazing. So any questions? For Mark, guys, you can put it in the comments and we'll bring it up. <laughs> Such a good keyboardist, I agree. Yeah. And while we are getting there, I want to share something that Jasmine Tan Siyan shared with you. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. So good. He guards all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Oh my gosh, that's me. Evil shall slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned from the Psalms. Amen. Wow. Amazing. Beautiful verse. Thank Amen. you so much to Jasmine for sharing this with us. And you know, that is can't think of a more appropriate response, a more appropriate verse. Thank you to so much. Your Jasmine. Testimony. Yeah. yeah. Great verse. Beautiful. Thank you so much, guys. 
So Mark, maybe you might want to share a little bit about, you know, anything that you feel that's on your heart you want to share with our viewers right now. <laughs> How do you feel about me? Wow. <laughs> this is really on the spot. <laughs> You're very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Guys, got also, no scripture. Okay, I must say something that, that funny that happened. So we just randomly started doing these TikTok videos of me and him at a restaurant. And then they blew up. Uh-huh. It was like just me and him Boy, doing these, unfortunately, like these random. <laughs> yeah, so we just like just these random like TikTok videos. So we're like, oh my gosh, we just gotta my do this. My brother is watching. We just gotta do this funny so couple du- TikTok videos that? now. Triple zero dinosaur. Wow. Hi hello. David. <laughs> Hi David. Thanks for tuning in. Very supportive, brother. Yeah, our family is so supportive. You can tell. See, they're all here watching. Yeah, us. it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And we have Tim who I said who said got no scripture, but why is Mark so handsome? It's super unfair. <laughs> this one you talk to Jesus. It's thanks. Called, yes, it's called, exactly. it's called favor, favor. Huh? Yeah, something special, you have to special, ask. That one I cannot help face. you. But <laughs> so funny. Thanks for joining us here, Timothy, friends you also and family. La. Don't let that can. His face is yeah, up here for him. everyone to see. Also. That's right. Yeah, yeah. tall, so. dark, and handsome. Wow. Yeah, say something, oh, say something. <laughs> something. <laughs> I said you were very beautiful. Oh, so sparkly. Yay. Uh, Sorry guys, this is really unscripted. Yeah, okay. no, it's off the cuff. It's our show. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> Thanks ah. for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Mark actually um, and I, we we have been on this journey where you know we're both pursuing these passions where we feel like why is it so difficult? Like music mm. so hard, and he's in type design. Wow, oh, type design mm. so hard. Mm-hmm. And we're just like you know, are we too ambitious? Mm. Um, you know, but but recently, like recently, God's been speaking to me about it, and like yeah. you know, he's just like. Okay, obviously you both can be doing like this crazy intense project at the same time. And mm-hmm. honestly, Mark took a huge like load um, when I was releasing the two singles earlier this year. Like yeah. he was with me at all the shoots. You know, he was mm-hmm. like basically designing all my stuff. Wow. You know, and 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 I feel like you know the next season for the first quarter of twenty twenty one is gonna be me helping him launch his type foundry. Yeah. Not really, because yes. like I, I know that I'm the administratively gifted one, so mm. I have to help lah. Amen to that. So amazing. Yes. So I mean, I think that like for us, like as a couple, like part of the reason why people look at us and like, wow, you guys are doing so many things. Honestly, it's only because there's the two of us. Like what yeah. what he's playing, it's yes. really because like. Like you know, we we, we take turns. You just get it. <laughs> Mark we take just turns to support each other. <laughs> yes. You know, we take turns to support each other. Yeah. You know, with the kids. You know, like Mark was putting the kids to sleep before mm. this. You know, so that I could be here earlier. And yeah, so I I, I think and then and then I let him go for a year to Holland. Then I had the daughter to uh, myself. Forever paying oh. back for the forever year paying back for the. <laughs> So, uh, oh, you won't stop hearing about it yeah, for the rest of your exactly. life. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that year you left me to go to <laughs> oh Holland. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's just such a great example of a godly couple that shows the world what you know, um, you know, God's design for marriage is, and God's design for you know His relationship with the body of Christ is. So, yeah, it's amazing. Whenever I I see you know your your hashtag like Mark and Sarah, how many years has it been? Fifteen. Fifteen this years. Year is 15. Praise in God. Nine days. In nine days. Time, wow, yes. congratulations years. in advance Thank and you. happy anniversary. I know we advance. feel so old, right? No, but that's beautiful. Toy. That you know, again, your you have seen each other through like your teens and through so many different Yeah, we were calculating situations. that maybe we could get to like 75 years, you know. <gasps> Mark was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll wow. be 90 something. I'm like, hey, get it. Amazing, eh? <laughs> How many people can get to 75 years? Wow. Very rare. Very, <laughs> very, very rare. rare. Such a blessing. I'll be grateful we get it to 50. Mm, mm. Can, I can, uh. yeah. Amen. Can, uh. But yeah, I mean, Amen. God is obviously Amen. using the both of you as a couple as well. You know, you're flanking the both of us. Aww. You know, super, we have super so much blessed. to learn from you guys. Super blessed by your gifts, you know, musically and just. I, like I love Daniel's T-shirt actually. It's just the <laughs> sex yeah. pack, yeah. pack. <laughs> representing. Yeah. Yeah. So good. It's the Amazing. ACS thing, like, The two of you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah y'all can go and uh, uh, like catch up later, <laughs> and you know, get to know each other better <laughs> after after this live stream ends. Yeah. And we're very thankful for every single one of you who is tuning in right now. If you found any part of this show beneficial or uh, has blessed you in any way, please don't hesitate to share this. It's just one simple act. You don't know who their stories and um, their music will be able to get out to and to touch. 
Yeah. So I'm I'm glad that we still Such have more music. Such a great MC, right? Huh? <laughs> Such yeah, a great music. Thank you. You're uh, so you kind. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, originally I was thinking Oh Holy Night, yeah. but then I also thought that we we could sing like the blessing because I True. just like you know move to feel like we want to end this with like a blessing for everyone. True. So I don't so know. What should we do? What would you want to do? Should we just Ma- do maybe the let's ma- let's let Mark decide. <coughs> blessing then Mark can the, sing with me. Like, the bonus oh, special night. guest. <laughs> What's that? He play guitar also. Oh, he's young. Okay. Ah, also can. How? Mark will be I cannot exciting. compare to our friend here. He just disappeared already. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like one of the things that um I was just listening to earlier on uh, someone mm-hmm. somebody's sermon, um was like you know through the whole year I think all of mm. us, um in this room as sons and daughters yeah. I think we have all been blessed you know whatever so called disaster has befallen like the world I think the Lord has very much protected us, mm-hmm. and we just want to continue to declare this favor and blessing over you know every single person who hears this every single person who is still going through that yes. that difficulty because there are still difficult things to push through yes. but I believe that you know the Lord's favor continues to fall as we walk in faith mm-hmm. right? we don't stay in the valley la, we keep going through la. Yes. so you know I feel like we just need to declare the word over ourselves we sing the word over you know whoever is watching and yeah. And they'll be blessed, you know. They claim they can claim it for themselves. Yes. yes. Yeah. So would you like to? Yeah. So we can sing the blessing. I think yeah. we can invite Isaac and Kahong. Yeah. yeah. Everybody come and sing come together. On, come on. Come on. No, come and sing. <laughs> All can there just. Can. Yeah. Put the mic stand. Put the mic stand. Wherever you thing. are in this room, just sing it, declare it, and yeah, I'm sure everybody on the other side of the screen will be able to feel it from us. I've never played it before, so let's. See what many happens. Many I've never many, sung many, this. Many, many also. He's playing it in B. Yeah, let's look for the li- lyrics just in case. Yes. B. I think G oh. can. Right. So oh. Keyboard, keyboard. G. Okay. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's good. good. Okay, okay. He wants B. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, let, let the man do what he wants to do. <laughs> okay, C. C, the most neutral. Sure. Huh? Higher than. Oh, sorry, sorry, not higher. Okay, okay. Yeah. Original. Yeah. Original, ah, yeah. uh, not crispy, okay? Uh. Okay, okay, original, original, yeah, original. <laughs> Isaac, okay. will you come here? Okay. We all sing together. It's okay, he'll sing off screen.
children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you in a thousand generations in your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you for a thousand generations and your family and your children the children and the children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and the children and the children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with this time where we have together as your daughters and your sons as one people united in one place to seek your face just to be in your presence just to know that we are loved that we are known that you see us that we have a hope in you Lord will you give us a fresh touch of your presence and your anointing and for all who are watching all who are listening to the sound of your voice from heaven, Lord, will they know that you are real? Will they know that you care? Will they know that you are here right in front of them? You are knocking on the door of their hearts. I just feel like there's some of you here who don't even know who Jesus is. You don't know why we're singing these songs. You don't know why we can continue to have a hope even though we've gone through such difficult things in life. And I want to tell you that that reason is that there is a God. The reason is that there is a God and He knows each and every one of us and He knows you. And He's seen your past and He's seen the struggles and He's seen what you're going through now and He's saying, I give you hope and hope is found in me through Jesus Christ, His Son, who came down in humanity, taking all the things that we did wrong upon Himself being that perfect sacrifice on the cross and thus making us right with God again and allowing us to have that right relationship with God. It was God that allowed me to come back to Him when I made such a terrible mistake in life, when I had to face my parents saying that I'm pregnant. It was God's redeeming hand on my life that allowed us to still have a family, that we still have a marriage for 15 years that we still have a hope after going through a pregnancy loss. It was God that saved me from that accident. His divine power is real in our lives. And even in Isaac's, and time and time again, divine appointment again and again to create new pathways for his love and his hope to flow through Isaac on so many media channels. And even Pacing and Dan, as they have come so obediently with a divine mandate for this season to create content. This is for you. Whoever you are, God knows your name. 
and he knows how much you need him. And so if for the first time you're hearing about Jesus or you've never understood what this means, you can say, Jesus, I invite you to be a part of my life. I know that I'm not perfect. I've sinned. But from today onwards, you are going to be my saviour, my best friend, and I'm going to have a heavenly father who cares for me, who loves me and has a plan for my life. And so Jesus, I give you my heart. I choose to follow you. I choose to find out what it means to live right. And because of your loving kindness and your repentance, I now can smile, have joy and peace in my life overflowing. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to my heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And if you just said that, or if you meant that, I want you to look up your local church or look for a friend who knows about Jesus mm -hmm. and tell them about it and say, you know, I heard this testimony. I, I don't know much, but I want to know more. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's a process. Mm -hmm. You know, and even if you, you're not completely 100% like pacing, sometimes it's a journey. All you have to do is ask, you know, and the answer will be given to you. Exactly. Right? And all of us on all our social media channels mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're all are available. also valid <laughs> for questions. Exactly. Right? Hello, Miss Lou. Daniel Sarah Chia, X Miracle. Official, Sarah X Miracle. Yes. On. Um, Isaac Ong. Mark Dubin. Go home. Oh, I don't know what's yours. Hi, Sweelin. Hi, Sweelin. Oh, Sweelin. I love Sweelin. You're cute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Amazing. So, yeah. Um, another great example of a beautiful couple with great love between <laughs> them. Yeah. So we really want to thank you so much to, to Sarah, to Mark, <laughs> to Isaac, to Ga Hong for, you know, gracing this uh, humble studio with your time, your stories. It's a really good studio, guys. Thank you so much. So and nice. Yeah, the story behind the studio we'll share probably on the 29th. Right. But, you know, God has given us this beautiful space um, in the midst of this pandemic and we have really chosen to honour him and wow. we are so glad that you guys are here being part of this journey um, to you know create content that people can look to for hope and to point people to the source of our hope who is Jesus Christ thank so, you so much for having us thank you and with that we will say good night and see you next week for another episode of Daniel um, Chai Beacon Mind Sessions exactly wow. so good night everybody good night. God bless you bye bye good night. Good night. Good night.